Hi, we're Midnight Blue. About two weeks ago, we announced the Tetra Burst vulnerabilities, consisting of five vulnerabilities in the Tetra radio standard, two of which are deemed critical. Since then, ETSI, the standardization body responsible for Tetra, has made public statements in which they downplay the seriousness of the vulnerabilities. In these statements, they resorted to a semantic discussion, not calling a spade a spade, or, more specifically, not calling a backdoor a backdoor. Furthermore, they made a number of evidently false statements, such as claiming packet injection and TA1 encrypted networks would be impossible, and that 32 bits of cryptographic strength would have been sufficient in the late 90s. To any information security expert, it's pretty clear that this is not the case. But to help remove those few remaining doubts, we decided to take on the challenge of cracking TEA1 on this beautiful machine produced in 1998, running good old Windows 95. Frankly, the hardware is so old that it wasn't easy to get our hands on. When we run the cracking tool, we see it reports that it needs about 13 hours to go through the entire search space. After 12 and a half hours, the key is found, demonstrating the feasibility of cracking TA1 on 90s consumer hardware. Alright Etsy, now that we've cleared up this issue, please let us know if you'd like us to demonstrate packet injection as well. 